This is part one of our video on reducing expressions. So it says here at the top, you can reduce a mathematical expression by dividing the top and bottom of a fraction by the same thing. So as a quick example, if you had the fraction three over six, you can reduce the fraction three over six by dividing the top and the bottom by three, right? Three divided by three is one, and six divided by three is two. So reducing is basically just when you have something with division and you're dividing the numerator and the denominator by the same thing. So we're going to do a quick investigation. We're going to go through and look at a couple of expressions. We're going to try reducing, and then we're going to try actually working it out the way it's written, and we wanna see whether that method of reducing worked. So I am going to zoom in a little. So I have two times five divided by two. So if I were to reduce by dividing out the twos, because that's what it says, which of the following could you reduce by dividing by two? So if I were dividing out these twos, right, two divided by two would equal just one times five. So my reduced value would be five. Now, does that really work? I'm actually going to work out two times five. Two times five is 10 divided by two, and 10 divided by two is five. So did it work? Did it reduce by just dividing out those twos? Yes, it did. All right, what about the next one? I have a two here, and I have a two here. Okay, so if I divide out those twos, I guess I would just be left with seven. Does that really work? Well, two plus seven is nine divided by two. Nine divided by two is like 4.5. So did that work? No, that did not work. All right, let's try the next one. If I have two over two minus one, well, if I cancel those out or divide those out, hmm, I'd have a minus three on the bottom. What would be on the top? Maybe a one because two divided by two is one? Let's actually try the question. If I have a two on the top and then two take away three is negative one, two divided by negative one is negative two. So did that work? No. All right, let's try the next one. I have a two on the top, I have a two on the bottom, and I want to divide those out. That would leave me with nine plus three over seven. Nine plus three is 10, no it's not. Nine plus three is 12, it's 12 over seven. Okay, well let's try it with the actual numbers. So if I do two times bracket nine plus three, I'd have to do the nine plus three first. So this would be two times nine plus three is 12. And then seven times two is 14. Two times 12 is 24 over 14. Are those the same fraction? Well, if I do 12 divided by seven, I get roughly 1.71. If I do 24 divided by 14, I also get the same number, 1.71. So I think these are the same thing. So I'm going to say, yes, they are the same, right? If you were to divide this by top and bottom, you would end up getting the exact same thing. So I'm just gonna write this as roughly 1.71. And this was roughly 1.71. Okay, last one, I've got some twos. Ooh, on the bottom I have two twos. Which one should I use? I'm gonna use the first one. We're gonna divide that out. That would leave me with five plus three. So five plus three is eight over two, and eight divided by two is four. What if I actually did the question properly? You'd have to multiply before you add. So two times five is 10 plus three over, and then two times two is four. So that would give me 13 over four. Does 13 over four equal four? 
I don't think so. That's 16 divided by 4. It gives me 3.25. So did I get the same answer? No. So some of the time it worked. It worked for the first one and it worked for the fourth one. And some of the time it didn't work. So I guess the question is, what's the difference? How do I know when I'm allowed to divide something out and when I'm not? Well, something that I notice at least about these two is that the two was being added or subtracted with another number. Whereas here we were multiplying two and five and here we were multiplying two and the bracket, nine plus three. Um, so here we had addition, here we had subtraction. Now this one over here is multiplication, but it's not multiplication with the five and the three. It's only multiplication with the five, and then we are adding three on. So the issue with these ones are these pluses and minuses. So that one has a plus, this one's got a minus, and this one has a plus. This one also had a plus, but it was inside of the bracket, and the whole bracket was being multiplied by two. So when you're allowed to reduce is when things are factored or when things are multiplication questions, right? If you have addition or subtraction and it is not factored, then you cannot reduce, right? So I'm going to say for my conclusion, um, you cannot reduce. when you have addition and subtraction. Okay, in order to reduce, it needs to be factored. So I'm gonna put that at the end here, I'm gonna say it must, maybe I'll put it underneath. I'm gonna say it must be factored. Okay, I'm going to stop this video here and then we will start a new video for the next example. So I'll see you in a minute.